Cloud base, 160 feet, runway visual range, 700 meters, near the upper limits of Ikeo Category 2. Conditions are getting worse on this second test run. One of a series planned and filmed by the Blind Landing Experimental Unit of the Royal Aircraft Establishment at Bedford to gain information on pilot and equipment efficiencies during low visibility landing operations. Another manual approach and landing. The pilot affects lateral corrections once visual contact has been established. Cloud base 130 feet, runway visual range 400 meters, near the lower limits of Ikeo Category 2. For our flight, manual control throughout, but currently some civil operators are attempting to reduce minima to this category, using manual control for the last 100 feet only. But the safety of such operations has still to be proven, as many as three out of four attempted landings may have to be abandoned. Visual contact just below the cloud base, and very little time for lateral corrections before starting the flare. Cloud base 60 feet, runway visual range 200 meters, category 3A. Conditions are even worse. The pilot must rely on automatic approach and landing procedures. In low visibility, the pilot is dependent upon instruments and systems, now being devised and developed by British industry, backed up by the most advanced research. A glimpse of the final approach lights, but the first useful visual contact the white painted threshold markings, more definable than the lights in daytime fogs. Category 3B corresponds to a minimum runway visual range of 50 meters, another fully automatic approach and landing. For civil aircraft to be able to operate regularly and safely in such conditions, Britain believes fully automatic blind landing systems are essential, and by developing, testing and proving failure survival systems, in which any single failure does not affect the performance of the system, the aim is a safety target for all weather operations of less than one fatal accident in 10 million landings by 1970.